Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alan Johnson, and if this is your first time of coming to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, right? Also, make sure you like and uh, share the video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what to do when PayPal owes your money. I think this only affects goods and services most of the time. I don't think they really, uh, PayPal do really owe friend and family payment. Well, if you are the kind of person that receives goods and services payment, this video will be helpful for you to know what to do when PayPal put your money on hold. So, now I'll first tell you what why PayPal owed money. There are several reasons why PayPal owed money. If you get to the semester, you don't even know the reason why they owed it. But the, I will tell you, based on my experience with PayPal, I will tell you a few things on the reason why they, they owed money. Number one, they owed your goods and services payments. If you are a new user, a, you, a new PayPal user, let's say your account is new and receive goods and services, they owe it, right? They owe it. And what to do with that? Yes, I already explained what to do, what they want you to do in one of my video. I will tag the video in the, the uh, in this video description, so you can go and watch that. So if you are a new PayPal user and they owe your money, what to do? I already explained that video. Then the second one is that. Maybe you have exceeded your monthly limits. Your monthly limits. The thing is, a lot of people don't know that PayPal have monthly limits for sales related payments. If you are using a goods and services payment, it has a limit of what you can receive. I think the minimum is $1,100. So let's say this month now, your limit is $1,001. So whenever you receive a payment above that limit, they are going to put it on hold. And once they put it on hold, what you are going to do is that they will put it on hold when they put your money on hold. Now, what you need to do is that you need to tell the sender of the payment to confirm shipments. And most of the time, it's after 48 hours that the payment was has been sent that the person will be able to confirm that shipment. So the process, is, I will add it to the description of this video, the process that your sender is going to go through to release the money for you to confirm the shipment. So once the person confirms the shipment, PayPal will release the money for you. But it takes 48 hours for the person to for the confirm shipment button to appear on your sender's account. Do you understand? So, but once the sender confirms that, they will release your money for you. They will release your money for you. So that's the second one. That's if you have part the monthly limit, if you have part the PayPal monthly limit. Yes. So another reason is that the paper want to confirm that the person, the sender of that payment, really send the money by themselves. You know, because of the fraud that is that is rampant these days. So paper are just trying to be secure. You understand? They are just trying to keep their platform secure. So when the when the system notices that a payment um, looks suspicious, it will trigger uh, it will trigger a security system on PayPal and they owe the money. The thing is, one thing I do advise people is that whenever your money is on hold, the first thing you should go and do is to go and check your mail. Because most of the time, when they put your money on hold, they will put the reason why the money was on hold and what to do. They will put it in that mail. So you should check your mail. So in that situation now, let's say they put your money on hold because the transaction looks suspicious. They will put, they will send you a mail that the hold will take for 24 hours. With that, you don't even need to do anything. All you just have to do is to just leave the account for the next 24 hours. After 24 hours, the money will drop automatically. You don't need to do anything with that. Right? So, those are the reasons why PayPal put money on hold. And those are the things you need to do. I believe this video is helpful. So, if it's helpful for you, please uh, like this video, also share. And if you have a question related to PayPal, you can drop in the comment section. I'll make sure I attend to all of the questions. Thank you and see you in the next video.